I don't know how many people out there that really are true fight fans understand your, your background and your story as well. It's pretty inspiring. You and you and Frank grew up in a, in a group home, right? Yep. You guys aren't real brothers, your stepbrothers, right? Or like uh, foster brothers. Yeah. He came in. Um, I want to say he was 10 years younger than me. I mean, he came in, I, I was in college playing ball. Uh, I had gone through the group home. Um, I ended up going to, uh, to, to play football. And my dad called me and said, Hey, you got to meet this kid. And uh, so I went went home on a summer summer break, and Frank was there. I think he was 14 at the time. And uh, he was kind of like me in a way where he didn't have any fear. He kind of went through some similar things I went through, locked in a closet and stepped there for days and, you know, forget he was there. Just horrible stuff. But as a kid growing up, it, it you either one, you, you break down and you, you become nothing, or you uh, you don't let those things affect you and you use them to your advantage uh, of being stronger, stronger minded. And uh, so I remember we went back on the the uh, uh, the visit and I was there. And of course, we have a big table. There's 20 plates uh, at this big table and we all sit and eat. And after it's so over, we all go into the living room. And a lot of times we either box or we wrestle or we <laughs> play around. And I remember my, my dad was always challenging me because I was a big, strong kid. I was fast, I was a great athlete. And he, so these kids were in there, Frank and about four or five other kids. And my dad says, if you guys could take Ken down, I'm standing right in the middle of the living room watching a game. He goes, if you guys could take Ken to the ground and hold him there, I'll take you guys to Reno. And Reno is like only 84 miles up the road. And he's always taking kids because he had nice cars and stuff. And he'd take us and take us to Reno and give us some money and play. And so I just barely met Frank. And uh, Frank looks, goes, and goes, heck yeah, let's go, right? And so he starts to charge in, and I grab him by his hair, and I shove him to the ground. Bam! And I said, the next one that comes near me, I ain't going to be so nice. 